Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video of my Predator 3500. Well as you know I've been doing some little modifications to it. Um, put a stop switch here. Um, so I tied in to the off switch here which allows me to actually run the generator um, on run until it uh, runs out of gas without having me to drain the bowl of the of the carburetor so um, you know that's pretty handy um, I also turn this 180 degrees so I can use my RV plug that will be coming out at a 4 or 5 o'clock um, degree instead of the uh, dreaded 9 and 10 degree that actually unlocks itself um, so those are a couple of things um, I did a video also about my bag that I added in my reel um, a cord that I use um, I pull it out to the um, to the equipment um, versus bringing equipment in the cord out to the generator so uh, that saves a lot of time and um, letting it reel itself back in so it makes uh, makes things a little bit neater but today I want to show you what else I did um, so I got um, a automotive door um, actuator um, to uh, make my unit a automatic choke so that way I don't have to choke it and um, then hit run because um, eventually I want to do a remote control and we all know if we do one in wireless remote controls um, from a distance you start it um, you have to have an automatic choke because um, when it's cold it will not start um, so, I um, wanted to kind of show you all it in action, um, got it working, it runs real good, it uh, operates pretty smoothly. Um, it's uh, turned upside down, um, instead of it being a push mode, I actually got it set up where it's a pull mode, so it pulls the choke instead of push the choke. So. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to set it up that way, but it runs a lot better. Um, it's a lot smoother action, and I'll show you. I haven't started it yet, just got home from work, and uh, so this will be a cold start, um, and actually it'll be a good test. So um, I've only tested it one other time. I finished it last night, and I tested it this morning before I left for work. Um, so and actually this will be the second time, second attempt, um, and it worked perfectly this morning, so we're going to see if it... Uh, works just as good so let me uh, reach over here and turn it on and uh, hit the the uh, start starter and you can see it work hang on one second there you go it works perfectly uh, so now this is what I was going to show y'all, which I now that I got it running. Uh, so, say I want to turn it off. I just go to the switch. Turn it off. And see, it's still in the run. Um, so, you know, um, I can turn it off and let it keep running until it runs out of gas. That saves on the carburetor, still fueling the carburetor. And some of y'all are saying, well, once it gets hot, um you know usually when the engine gets hot you don't have to choke it because it won't start back on choke it has to start on run well not in this situation because it happens so fast when uh, the actuator actually um uh, pulls the choke um as soon as i let off the starter um it actually opens back up so it allows it to start even at hot so it starts cold on choke and starts hot when it's hot so it just runs so uh, let me show you. Okay, there you go. And uh, hopefully this is what a lot of people uh, maybe want to do their own. Uh, so, you know, going forward in the future, uh, I'm wanting to do the uh, electric start uh, with a low fob. And uh, hopefully I can get something set up where uh, I can show that to you. Thank you very much.